It is with great pride and pleasure I introduce Dr. Luana Kinsey Simon, the 20th president of Michigan State University. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And, and welcome to all of you and the folks who are doing this virtually. Uh, the charter, actually, I'm told, requires that the president do something about the state of the university on its birthday. And we did a, a, a major uh, piece for 150. Actually, there was a major celebration around 100, and now this is 160. And in that time, Michigan State University has grown and developed in lots of different ways. And it's all because of people, the people like the ones behind me who represent the best of Michigan State University. We could fill the football stadium or the basketball arena with those faculty, staff, past and present, who really represent the best of Michigan State University. But let's recognize these individuals now for their accomplishments and thank them for being here. What we're gonna do this year is, uh, since we've talked about Boulder by Design, the six initiatives, is to do this uh, set of commentary a bit in, in phases. So my lead is uh, on Tuesday, that it'll be, have a videotape. End of the week, we'll produce the document that's the more official State of the University address that has the opportunity to put all of those pieces together and what we're trying to accomplish for the next 10 or 20 years for Michigan State. So when we reflect back on our 100th birthday, our 150th birthday, our 160th birthday, some things stay the same. And they stay the same because the fundamental values of the university are the same. We want to be the, some of the best in the world. We were founded to be that. We were founded to be a place that made a difference in society by opening our boundaries and being very permeable and being worried about the things that out, occur outside the university, not just what happens on our campus. That's how we were founded, but also to, to compete with the very best. So we had the blend of those traditional universities at the time and also this special kind of university that represented us, Michigan State, Spartans will. Then we sort of grew and developed, and you, you can go then to about the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, and you can see that development, that capacity for an institution to implement really big ideas. And we're having a lot of 50th anniversary celebrations over the last 10 or 20 years that represent those big ideas for the campus, those really big ideas at the time that were around the curve anticipating what society needed. There was this little thing in the basement of uh, Giltner Hall called a cyclotron. It's turned into something a little bit bigger across the street. There are departments that were created, new disciplines founded, new ways of engaging, all because we were, had the courage and the capacity to see around the curve, to imagine, to imagine a different kind of society. If you think about the work we've celebrated in Project 6050, a place where Michigan State was really at the beginning. We have much work yet to do, to see around that next curve, to have the courage and capacity, no matter what we say and what we do, to be able to have those big ideas, the things that don't fit right now. It might be computational mathematics, it might be something else that fits into a new building, a new idea. But still with this commitment, this commitment that we, are, we have permeable boundaries and the way we do things makes a huge difference, Spartans will. We're also a place that's benefited by ANDs. If you think about what's happened to universities and, and education, we become a little bit of a commodity in the minds of some. You can buy a, a course on iTunes. You can buy an idea. You can start your own company. You can do lots of things we do as compartments. But you can't do all of us together. All of us together, working together across disciplinary lines, putting ideas together, connecting the dots in ways that make the whole greater than the sum of the parts. That's what a great university does. What a great university does. And Michigan State is a great university because of all of its people and the partners around the world. We're also a place that has gone from this perfect storm I talked about a while ago, and you would see that in all the higher education literature, to a new normal. A normal that looks at technology differently, a normal that means that our resources are gonna be growing less than they did in that growth period in the 1940s and 50s and 60s but we still have to be competitive. We still have to be among the best. 
because the world, in my view, deserves a university like Michigan State. So the question that animates me for the last period of time, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, as you think about the history, is if society were to create a university all over again today, I wanted to create Michigan State. I wanted to create Michigan State. Because that assures that we have the power of great language, the power of great ideas, the power of connection, the way in which we can listen to others and co-create solutions, the way we can be that place that has the courage to reach out and listen, to be that place that has the courage to try the ideas necessary for this to be the kind of dynamic and inclusive society we'd all like it to be, a place to try, the courage to try. It'd also be a place that's globally connected, not to be able to have 176 countries and all those things and be very globally connected. It'd be a place that has the courage to look at itself and say, we're not doing that very well. We got to find different ways to do it. We can't simply add on and add on and add on and recognize that that's going to work in a sustainable future. All those things are the kind of university you'd have with great faculty creating great knowledge. Knowledge that makes a difference not only for today, but for tomorrow. That's Michigan State, that's Spartan's will. That's who we're about. That's what this celebration is about. So when we did the Boulder by Design, and you'll notice over the last period of time, lots of people use the word bold, it's become the new word. And we wanna be bolder. And part of that is that what we'll do on Tuesday and what Provost Hewitt and Vice President Upta have done, Vice President Shu, and giving you a preview of what's going under all those initiatives. Some of them are things you know, like Neighborhood 2.0 or Healthy Campus. Some of them are really more difficult, like the Student Success Initiative. Other things are being a pioneer, because Hy Fitzgerald's here, about thinking about scholarship as the underpinning of university outreach and engagement. But what's the next play? What's the next big idea that goes with that? What are the things that are going to come under the academic competitiveness or the next big ideas for research? And there's a lot of those the faculty have proposed that are really, really exciting. We think about stewardship. What's going to be those things beyond energy? How are we going to think about that for the future that winds together all the sustainable, all the societal issues and makes Michigan State University a model? Capital campaign is a part of that as well. A very important part of that is we need more private funding. You can also think about that sixth initiative about high performing and what that means. It's not simply sort of reordering the world and saying that's good enough. It has to work for folks. All of you are feeling some of the, as I do, all that burden of compliance. It's not going to go away because we have to rebuild trust in higher education. We have to rebuild trust in us us as an enterprise, not missing Michigan State, but us as an enterprise. And we're just caught in all those rules and regulations. So to find a way to make them work, not by checking the box, but by really making a difference. We have to think through that very carefully. And the secret to all of this is to be a place of ands. Michigan State was always a place of ands. Being privately, support, privately supported and publicly committed. Campus rooted and internationally oriented. Academically very independent, but yet constructively partnered. Research driven, engaged for the short term, being concerned about making a big difference for tomorrow, at the same time making a big difference for 10 and 20 years from now and taking that risk. Being very innovation driven, but yet understanding that we can't do everything. Not every idea is a good one. Not every idea is one we should be doing. So how do we sort those together? Because we have to make those decisions together, not any one person. But we also have to be able to listen to those ideas and not just re throw them out out of hand because they don't fit it currently what we're doing or they seem like they're going to take a lot of money. Those are great universities. We're a great university. We will also be energized through individual passions, but we also, and I use the, te the term Team MSU, we've got to be a team together. All of our individual passions working alone won't make the kind of difference you'd like. It requires us giving you voice, louder voice, for the work that you do. And for you thinking about the way in which your work can make a big difference for somebody else on campus. 
if we can begin to have that as a part of our campus culture more and more and more, not just a little bit, think about the power that that would be. When I think about Michigan State, I think about this as Spartan's will, that capacity, that spirit. Because if you think about universities, they all do about the same thing. They all have a river, a mountain, or something that makes our campus distinctive. We do. We think ours is special. They think theirs is special. They all have programs that have about the same kinds of names. They all produce research in the league we're competing with internationally, doing about the same kinds of things. But we have to be special. We have to be different. We have to be able to march to our own drummer, but never be afraid to have international competition judge us for what we're going to do. That's about what FRIB is. And we can do that together. I know we can. Because that's what's happened with Spartans Will. That's what's happened over the last 50 years, over the last 10 years, where you all have risen to the challenge, where we've done that together, where Team MSU has done that together. So the recipe is there, the blueprint is there within Boulder to move to the next level. It just takes all of us thinking about how we're going to make Michigan State University better tomorrow than it is today. If everybody woke up every day and thought how you could make Michigan State University a little bit better tomorrow than today, by something in your area or by reaching out in some, or helping a student or doing something else, and if all of us together occasionally had those conversations that said, where's that thing around the curve? Where's that really big idea I want to be a part of? And I know that'll help the campus even though it's not in my unit. EFRIB's helping everybody. EFRIB's helping everybody. Other things are helping everybody. Because when people know us through one part of us, they know all of us. They know all of us. And that's the power of having a half million Spartans around the world. That's the power of Michigan State. So if each of us did that a little bit each day, or maybe even once a week, just think about the energy we could create to take on the, the challenges the world will have for us. So I want to close by doing something with the video. Because Spartan Will is not simply a slogan for branding. It's who we are and what we're about. And the best way to show that, rather than talking more about it, is through this video. When do we give up? When do we just close our eyes and say, that's it? This water's too polluted. This disease too far along. To a Spartan, the answer is simple. Never. Because Michigan State was founded on the belief that our purpose is to make the world a better place. And when you're open to unconventional thinking, you value people's differences and are willing to work harder, push farther, and forge true partnerships. Then and only then can you solve the world's toughest problems. Better, faster. Like renewable energy, clean water, Parkinson's disease, and fighting malaria. Things Spartans work on every single day, all without fanfare. Because we know our true triumph lies in the impact we make on the world around us. And after all, if we don't do it, who will? Spartans will. Video, as we've shown it around the country, is it's real. It's a story of a university. It's a history of the land grant movement. It's who we are. It's who we are. So what we wanted you to do is to imagine all these folks, when you hear their, their bios, which will be brief, with that little Spartan helmet on top of them, Spartans will. Because that's their story today. They're the important people for the day. And we want you to leave here thinking about how you can help cr us create more and more stories. It's a real privilege for me to be a part of this university for so long, to watch it grow and develop. And I have a list of things I know it can be better at because I'm never satisfied. As most of you know that. Because if I'm, not, if I'm satisfied, then we're not going to be as great as we would be in the future. And that university that society would create won't be us. And that would be a tragedy. 
for the history of this place, for all all of you have done to make it a special place, would be a tragedy. We can't let that happen. Spartans will. Thank you very much.